November 7th, 1991, Magic Johnson retired from the NBA with a $40 million net worth. Just three decades later, he's worth now over a billion dollars and one of the richest former athletes in the world. But how did he get 30 times richer after his playing days? Welcome to FOS Explains. In this video, we'll explore the story of Magic Johnson and how he built a diverse business empire. Throughout his 13 years with the Lakers, Magic became a three-time MVP with five NBA championships. But after the 9091 season, Johnson shocked the sports world. Good after late afternoon, because of the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. Johnson came back for 32 games in the 95-96 season, but retired for good at the end of that year. After basketball, Magic wanted to do something to stay relevant and build a legacy beyond his NBA career. So he set his sights on launching a business career. Magic leveraged his fame and personal brand to set up major strategic investments and partnerships. At one point, he even told a young Shaquille O'Neal to start investing, a story he told journalist Graham Bessinger on his show. The first time I meet Magic Johnson, he pulled me to the side and he said, it's okay to be famous, you want to start on the things. 19 years old, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? But over the years, Shaq said that advice became clear. Magic Johnson was not just investing, he was building a billion dollar empire. Years before his early retirement and brief return to the NBA, Magic had big plans. Ones that would ultimately make him one of the richest athletes in history. He founded his investment group Magic Johnson Enterprises in 1987 and sought out business advice from big time entrepreneurs like Michael Ovitz and Peter Guber. Today, MJE calls their process magicizing. It has three core actions. One, strategic partnerships or ownership two, direct investments in existing companies, and three, marketing. And there's one specific reason behind every move Magic and MJE make, empowering diverse and underrepresented communities. Johnson says there's over a trillion dollars of spending power in black and Latin American communities. This figure helped him convince other CEOs to invest in providing high quality entertainment and services to those underserved communities. That approach laid the foundation for his first major venture. Magic Johnson Theaters. After securing a partnership with Sony Pictures, Magic Johnson's venture became successful pretty fast. Then he turned his attention to Starbucks. In 1998, Magic Johnson became the first person to reach a franchise agreement with the coffee giant. He eventually became the owner of 125 Starbucks locations and reportedly made about $100 million when he sold them off a decade later. In 2004, Magic Johnson Enterprises agreed to buy about 30 Burger King restaurants across Atlanta, Birmingham, Dallas, and Miami. As founder and CEO of Magic Johnson Enterprises, the basketball legend has spent 30 years bringing more recognizable brands to underserved communities. That's places like 24 Hour Fitness, TJI Fridays, Best Buy, Fat Burger, and others. It was only a matter of time though before Magic made a massive investment in a more familiar space. One that would earn him close to $100 million in a short period of time. It was time for Magic Johnson's return to the sports world. Today, Magic Johnson holds ownership stakes in teams across four major pro sports leagues. His journey into sports team ownership began nearly 30 years ago. He purchased a 4.5% stake in the Lakers in June 1994 for approximately $10 million. He sold the stake in 2010, which Forbes estimates was worth $29 million then. If he hadn't sold, that stake would now be worth $269 million. In 2012, Johnson bought a 2.3% stake in the Dodgers for $50 million. It was the largest check he'd ever written. The Dodgers are now the second most valuable MLB franchise behind the Yankees and valued at $4.8 billion. Magic stake is estimated to be worth $110 million today. Magic expanded his sports portfolio in 2014 by acquiring stakes in both the WNBA's LA Sparks and MLS's LAFC. Magic bought into LAFC as a new expansion team, so it wasn't really clear how much he owns, but LAFC is now the most valuable team in the MLS with a $1 billion valuation. Magic is also a co-owner of the eSports company Axiomatic alongside Ted Leonsis, the owner of the Washington Wizards and Washington Capitals. 
Axiomatic owns Team Liquid, which was valued at $440 million in 2022. One year later, NFL owners unanimously approved the sale of the Washington Commanders to an investment group that included Magic. In a league with no black majority owners, Magic called the vote, quote, the biggest achievement in my business career. The investment group is led by Wall Street titan Josh Harris, defense billionaire Mitchell Rails, Harris's longtime business partner David Blitzer, and Johnson. The commander's sale is the highest ever for a sports franchise, passing the $4.65 billion sale of the Denver Broncos last season. Johnson was also a part of a Harris-led group that previously attempted but failed to purchase the Broncos. Meanwhile, Johnson has continued making key investments outside of sports too. He now is controlling interest in Equitrust, a financial services company valued at $26 billion and a stake in Aspire, an African-American television network. Another key aspect of Magic Johnson Enterprises' strategy is direct investment. That's where they acquire stakes and businesses to help them grow. These sorts of investments include the Marvel Experience, Walt Disney Imagineering, Uncharted Power, which is a renewable energy company, and Me Too, a Latin-focused media brand. Magic has ventured into different forms of real estate management too. In 2011, Magic Johnson decided to renovate areas in downtown Detroit by teaming up with Quicken Loans and Detroit Venture Partners. Pouring millions into this venture capital firm, Magic wanted to build sophisticated tech companies to help revive the city's declining economy. Over the years, Johnson's investments into minority neighborhoods have also benefited the local economies. His partnership with Starbucks created more than 2,100 jobs and raised nearly $30 million for local communities. But it turns out that not all of these investments end up well. He attempted to establish a movie theater in Detroit and Harper Woods, that failed, but in the long run, these projects didn't affect his net worth much. According to Forbes' latest calculations, the Lakers legend has created a net worth of $1.2 billion. Magic joins Tiger Woods, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan as the fourth billionaire athlete in the world. But what do you think? What was Magic Johnson's best business move? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth stories on the business of sports.